Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? Welcome to Rover Land, the channel that's about anything and everything Land Rovers. I am your friend Dan. Oh, how the honk are ya? As I said, yeah, I love to say that. Anyway, we're doing a one of Wednesday. Yeah, I know you're seeing double, but that's because you probably have a drinking problem. But it. <laughs> True confessions. But anyway, um. Yes, welcome to One Off Wednesday. Actually, this was, um, not too long ago, the one and only that I did have of this. And I'm not really sure where I got, got this one from. Uh, it says it was on clearance for $15, which I think is a pretty fair price for this. This was a beautiful, beautiful piece. And uh, so let me tell you about this piece. What is it? Bam! There we go. It is a Matchbox Super Kings Land Rover 110. Uh, this is made in Macau, and um, and like I say, the the patent is still pending. I hope Matchbox gets that you know uh, you know uh, settled. But anyway, <laughs> all right. So what are we looking at? This is uh, as you know, and I probably put a, a link up here. I did another uh, video on Matchbox Super Kings, and it was the uh, Range Rover, and this is the um, per se one and only, and we'll get into more details, of the Defender model. This is the one and only casting that they did for the Super Kings uh, Defender-wise. So you can uh, check out the uh, Range Rover uh, video there, but this is the 1987 K144 Defender Super King, and as you see now, <laughs> this is a, a, a yellow with checker plating, uh, chrome wheels on this one, and uh, the neat thing about these is uh, it has a flashing part the, uh, you see up here it says, follow me, and I don't know, yeah, you can see it there, it says, follow me, and I don't think I can really show you here uh, on, the, on the thing, but it, it clicks. I don't know if you can really hear that, but then when it rolls along there, the, um, the words, follow me, flash up, there you go, you can kind of just see it, it just flashes really quick there. I don't, I don't think we can really make it stay. But anyway, it flashes that orange follow me on the front or on the back there. And um, so Frankfurt, now pardon me, I'm not German, but I'm going to try this. Frankfurt, Frufenden, Fru, 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 Frufenden, yes, which by the way, <laughs> for you non-German speaking people, that means airport. <laughs> Flugenfen, yeah, Flugen, Flugenfen. I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm getting it. I, maybe I should try a little bit more of an accent. But anyway, Frankfurt Airport is what that means. Got some really nice, neat uh, headlight spotlights on top there. They are uh, molded in, but they're not uh, painted. But and then a the little beacon there. And like I, I'm assuming that this message is for airplanes not passengers <laughs> anyway uh as we look around here pretty nice detail on the back here it's got a rubber rubber wheel as a spare chrome as as well blinkers and uh brake lights no windows in the back those are all blanked out uh 110 as it says uh, uh station wagon version there uh very nice very nice nice and heavy um the base is plastic and uh, the front bumper and the grill that's all plastic uh but the top is all metal the the uh, flasher part up here is metal you know and this is all one piece as far as i know nope, that's a two piece this uh the canopy or the roof is uh one piece and then the side is another piece and that with the body so in the win window frames so it's got uh uh, we see there it is a uh, right hooker because you know in, uh, in uh, Germany for one there 
but it's got little wind uh, side mirrors, which are kind of unique. I don't know if we can see it. Let me see if I could zoom in here. Uh, the mirrors are part of the dash, and they they uh, the window kind of goes up over in and around that. Uh, sorry, my cameras. I'm really putting my camera to the test here. <laughs> sorry about that. But I want to show you the neat little details there, how they incorporated mirrors on this model, and uh, just kind of ingenious. But then you can see there that roof line there, there is a gap there, so that roof is a different uh, piece than the top, or you know, and goes all the way around there, but just a very nice, well this is kind of a nice angle here, we get some nice shots here. But anyway, let's take a grill while we're, we're close up. Really nice Defender front end there. Uh, wheels are kind of just regular road wheels. They're not off-road wheels at all. But uh, just a very, very nice uh, uh, example of uh, Defender. And uh, the one I got here, like I like say, I believe I bought this firsthand somewhere. And I was kind of excited because... I knew they existed, but I didn't have it, and I, I don't think I squabbled too much over the price. Of course, it's on clearance. How can you? <laughs> but anyway, it was a very nice example. Just a couple, you know, these sharp corners up here. You can't help but getting uh, paint scuffs up there. But, you know, all the wheels are there and uh, rolls very nice. Now, these have some, some suspension to them. You know, uh, very, very cool uh, and uh, very nice, like I say. Yeah, look at this thing jump, man. Hopefully that runway is not that bumpy. But anyway, so there you go. We're going to talk a little bit about variations now. There is a variation that says Heathrow uh, Lufenfagen. There. <laughs> so there's a Heathrow, and that has uh, chrome wheels as well, as far as I know. No, that has red wheels. Excuse me. And that one looks more like this one here on the package. That one has red wheels. And the, the Heathrow, as far as my uh, research, and, and please tell me if you guys have variations and stuff like this. This is not very a, a very common thing in the States. So let me know what, what you got there. And um, so the, the one variation is uh, same uh, color, same... Uh, Deco and stuff like that, just Heathrow versus Frankfurt. The other one is a road uh, maintenance. It'll say road maintenance on it, and um, and that one um, has uh, diagonal hash marks on it. It does not have this checker plate on it. And I believe that one also has the red wheels on it, uh, like this picture that we were showing you there. Uh, and then, I, you know, it also has the follow me for traffic, you know, to get you around there. Now, there is another one, and I don't believe that it ever came in the States. I, I came across it in, in my uh, lookings and and stuff like that and i think um i want to say that i got this information mostly from our friends over at bamca because they're the matchbox uh uh association uh bay area matchbox club association check that out dot org that's a b a m c a dot org but anyway as far as i know from there they said that there was a green colored one and I, I i've never seen that i that was the first time i'd ever seen it but it was a green uh lighter than the bronze land rover green and it said veterinarian surgeon on the sides i did not have uh really and i don't know what color rims they had if it was with the chrome or a red or a different color but it had uh vet veterinarian surgeon on the side and I, I don't know why you, I don't know what it said on the back. Maybe the thing said emergency or surgeon or something like that. I don't know why you would follow a, follow one. But anyway, <laughs> let's go see a cow. <laughs> but anyway, so there you go. This is uh, my one of Wednesday. Oh, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. So this was my one of Wednesday. And uh, my one and only, except the other day, my friend uh, David Christie, and I've uh, uh, talked about him uh, before, and maybe I could put a link to his uh, uh, video, his uh, YouTube channel up here. And um, But anyway, we have done a couple of trade boxes, and you can watch the unboxing trade box on uh, my unboxing uh, playlist. But he sent me this one, and uh, he was kind of worried and nervous. He, Did you have this? And this one's uh, in a box, but it's kind of beat up. And I'm like, dude, I'll take it. I will we'll do it. Throw it in the trade. And uh, and actually, you know, I think, uh, you know, he was kind of worried about the condition because, you know, he's a collector too, and he's got a, a museum, toy museum there in uh, Willington, uh, uh, South Australia. Check him out. Uh, but anyway... Uh, so he, you know, he sees a lot of things in different uh, uh, conditions, and I said, no, 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 you send that to me if you want, and trade, that'd be great, at least I have an example of what it looked like in the box, and this is actually, um, I would give this a B, a B rating, you know, A being perfect, uh, this is like a B, I mean, you can tell it's still sealed, uh, you know, I mean, there is some shelf, I would call this shelf worn on it. You know, this is not played with, you know, uh, obviously, but uh, very nice, very nice. I mean, and I think that that was the re re original retail price. I'm not sure uh, for that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, K144, Airport Rescue. But just a really nice example of the box. So... My one of Wednesday has kind of turned out to be <laughs> a two of Wednesday, but it's it's a one of Wednesday. There's one of loose and one of box. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just interesting. I'm just uh, letting you guys take a look around the box here uh, for you interested in box collecting and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, just just very. Here's the here's the example of the red wheeled one. Now this doesn't have any writing on the side of it, but the red. The red rims on there i would like to get one of those eventually uh the the uh holy grail of this whole thing would be the um the what i'm saying is the holy grail of this would be to have that uh, green veterinarian one that i think is the in my humble opinion it would be the hard one to get but that's that's here in the states that's the a u.s opinion I don't know how they are, you know, across the pond and, and across the globe there. But uh, there you go. Once again, thank you very much, David. Ed, ed, an excellent addition to my collection, uh, having something in the box. And now I have something loose. Still a one-of in my book, but uh, great, great, great. All right, there you go, folks. Oh, before I lose my voice... <laughs> uh, Thanks very much for joining me today. Make sure that you uh, like, subscribe, and share this video if you like uh, the content here on Roverland. Uh, this is a passion of mine. I love sharing it with me, me friends and me family. <laughs> uh, down in the description, you're going to find links to Roverland Facebook page and Roverland channel uh, uh, Instagram. So go ahead and check those out. And, uh, well, that's it. Slow traffic, keep right, and follow me, <laughs> and have a great rover day.